The critics have seen the fourth John Wick flick, and yeah, they're thinking he's back. Here's what early reviews have to say about the latest installment in the unstoppable Hitman franchise. People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. The much-anticipated John Wick Chapter 4 will hit movie theaters worldwide on March 24th, but the review embargo for the Keanu Reeves-led blockbuster has already been lifted, and the vast majority of critics are heaping praise on it. The fourth iteration of the saga holds an 88% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes, with 26 reviews as of the making of this video. Chapter 4 is filled with things that happen in every John Wick movie with the most important of those being over-the-top combat sequences happening at a breakneck pace. This time around, director Chad Stahelski has taken viewers on a journey across a number of different locations spread out across three continents. Clocking in at a whopping 162 minutes of runtime, Chapter 4 follows the titular character as he strives to break free from the high table once and for all. Nearly three hours might seem like overkill for an action-focused film where the plot plays second fiddle. But as most of the reviews suggest, it was a conscious decision on Stahelski's part. Variety's Owen Gleiberman wrote, Is Chapter 4 too long? You bet it is. At moments, it's like an action film as liturgical church service. Yet the movie is conceived as a knowingly overstuffed gift to John Wick fans, and on that level, it succeeds. It's like Sergio Leone crossed with John Woo as seen in Times Square. One thing that all of the Chapter 4 reviewers highlighted, in fact, was the fact that the movie is by far the longest in the franchise. They were full of praise for Stahelski's ability to keep viewers engaged for so long while maintaining consistently high quality. IGN's Tom Georgenson even called it a modern action masterclass, and gave the movie a rare score of 10 out of 10, writing, In an age of increased grumblings about films of two-plus-hour runtimes, Chapter 4's roaring pace serves as a counter-argument that proclaims movies should be as long as they need to be. Writing for BBC Culture, Karen James praised the visuals and choreography, writing, Knives, guns, and martial arts come into play, often in lovely, red-tinged light to the sound of glass shattering all around. John Wick goes full James Bond, globetrotting and shooting his way through glamorous cities, with action that is even more spectacularly staged. Citing the gripping combat scenes and praising the work of the stunt team, The Hollywood Reporter's Frank Sheck wrote that Chapter 4 outdoes its predecessors in nearly every respect. This sentiment prevails in other reviews, with Eric Eisenberg writing for Cinema Blend that there's a strong argument to be made that it's the best of the sequels, and the digital spy's Ian Sandwell summing it up as, "...not bad for a series that started out with a hitman avenging his dead puppy." According to most critics, the action in Chapter 4 is so good that it excuses the shortcomings of its plot. At one point in her review for Entertainment Weekly, Leah Greenblatt posed the question, How does nearly three hours of wham-bam noise and nonsense, unmitigated by any meaningful plots, work as well as it does? She went on to answer it by pointing toward Keanu Reeves' ability to remain likable despite playing a mass-murdering hitman, writing that there's, quote, something ineffable in Reeves that you can't help but root for. Nick Shager of The Daily Beast emphasized how the actor expresses his character without much dialogue, writing, Letting his stares and homicidal skills do the talking for him, Reeves exudes typically fearsome gravity, purpose, and weariness. In a Sunshine State Cineplex review, Alan French went further, writing, Reeves shows why he's one of the best genre actors in the world, and pours his heart and soul into a soft-spoken performance. Good luck, Mr. Wick. Thanks, Doc. Although he makes all the stunts and fast-paced combat seem easy, Reeves admitted in a recent Fandango interview that Chapter 4 was the hardest film he's ever done. But based on early reviews, it looks like it was worth all the effort.